हेलो स्टूडेंट सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट मेवन प्रोजेक्ट सेटअप वे फॉर द सिलेनियम राइट सो एज वी ऑल नो दैट फॉर डूइंग ऑटोमेशन टेस्टिंग वी नीड द लाइब्रेरीज ऑफ सिलेनियम टू परफॉर्म डिफरेंट डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ ऑटोमेटेड टास्क फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ आई नीड टू ऑटोमेट दिस लॉग इन पेज सो फॉर डूइंग दिस पर्टिकुलर पर्पज आई नीड टू ऑटोमेट दिस यूजर नेम फील्ड this password field this login button field so doing this task automatically i need to have selenium as a library right so if you need to use selenium in java so there are two approaches first approach is by doing it with the normal java project how let's see so let me open my eclipse so we are going to use eclipse as our id for writing down our code so at the first step what i am going to do i am going to click on file let's go to new and let me select this java project if here the option of java project is not present what you need to do you need to go to the others and here you need to search for the java and here you will get the option of java project just select it click on next and let me give the project name let's say i am going to write it down like selenium underscore testing selenium underscore testing as my project name i am going to click on next and i am going to click on finish so my project has been created with the name selenium testing in this if you can see there is already java is associated with this and this is my source folder now in the next step let me download the selenium library so let me write it down like download selenium this is the official website of the selenium in which when you are going to scroll down you will see different different types of languages which are basically supported by selenium so we can use the selenium library with c sharp we can use the selenium library with ruby we can use the selenium library with java we can use the selenium library with python and javascript as well as today we are talking about the selenium library with java we are going to download this java part and you can see the latest version of the selenium is 4.2 3.0 that is released on july 19 2024 so let me click over here and if you will see the download has been automatically initialized let it be downloaded and meanwhile it is downloading let's check the other versions as well so c sharp as well the latest version is 4.2 uh, 23.0 and for other programming languages as well so if you wish to use selenium with any of the programming language what you need to do you simply need to download this library okay so our download has been completed let me go over here let me go to download section can you see the file has been in zip file so let me extract it so right click and let me click on extract and the extract is going to get started so extraction has been done now what i need to do i need to move back to my project i need to click on uh, right click on my selenium project i need to go to the build path and i need to go to the configure build path let me repeat right click on our project let us go to the build path and let me go to the configure build path and in the configure build path there will see you there will see lots of option available right here simply i need to click on libraries and here there is an option of class path let me click over here and let me click on add external jar from right now here i need to select all the jar files which i have downloaded just now so let me select it all of this so this is one process to do this and as soon as you are going to click on apply here you will see the reference library which contain all the files which you have just downloaded from the selenium so this is the first approach to integrate selenium with java right 
but there is one more approach with maven project and doing selenium coding with maven project is recommended right so let's do it so for that what i need to do i need to simply click on file i am need to go to new and here if the maven project option is available then it's fine if the maven project option is not available in that particular case i need to click on other and here i simply need to search for the maven and here you will get one option of the maven let us just select it and i will click on next so whenever you are going to click on select on next this particular option is going to be open in front of you right here you will see a lots of option uh, you we need to click on first checkbox that is create a simple project skip archetype selection if you are not going to click on this what is going to be happen few default templates is going to be presented in front of you right and i don't want that i simply want a simple maven project where i can integrate my selenium that's why i have clicked on this particular checkbox after that i am going to click on next so this is the particular place where i need to do the naming convention of my project so in group id i need to pass down my project name so i'm going to write it down com.selenium underscore testing uh, let us let us write down like com.selenium underscore automation testing so whatever I have given in the group ID, same I am going to pass in the artifact ID as well. So I have provided the group ID and artifact ID, and all the other options are uh, all the other options are optional, right? So important thing was group ID and artifact ID. We have already filled this out. After that, what I need to do, I need to simply click on finish. So let me click on finish as soon as you are going to click on finish the project should be created can you see it right here com.selenium automation testing so this is the architecture of the project in which these two folders are used by developer to do the development code right the src main java and src main resources so whatever coding we used to do in the core java concept we can write it down in src main java and src main resources but for now as a tester we are going to write down our test codes in test java and if i we need to create a test suit in xml file for that particular thing we need to have this src test resource so we don't need these two packages so i am simply going to delete these two let me do that so let us delete this right then can you see the jre system library that means java is already associated with our project then we are having our source folder uh, these are the default folders that comes with the maven project and here there is one important point that is pom.xml let me go over here so this is the default information about the project the project version the project name right let it be on line after line number five i'm going to place one few enters and let me go to a website so there is a website that is basically maven repository in this particular website you will find all the dependencies or all the uh, dependencies that are related to java correct mostly related to java so what i'm going to do here i'm going to search for selenium let me click on search and here there are lots of options related to selenium what i need to select i need to select this selenium java let me click over here and whenever i am clicking it can you see there are lots of options available here in the selenium so whatever option you need you can simply click on it and you can simply copy it i am clicking this i am selecting this 4.2 2.0 let me click on it and let me select this on a single click this dependency is going to get copied let me come to my maven project and here i need to initialize one tag that is basically called dependencies tag 
and inside this dependencies tag I am going to paste whatever dependency I have just copied and let me save it as soon as I am going to save it you will see a new folder has been integrated in my project with the name maven dependencies and inside this maven dependencies all those dependencies are have uh, all those dependencies have been downloaded automatically which we were doing in java project manually so at the first step i have showed you that how to uh, integrate selenium in normal java project it was just for the reference we are going to use we are going to use maven project with selenium as it is the most recommended part because it is quite easy the reason being suppose in near future i need to integrate test ng with my project so what i need to do i simply need to pass the dependencies and what the maven is going to do maven is automatically going to download the folder for me right <coughs> so my project has been loaded with all the dependencies that are related to selenium now let us write down one sample demo script for it as well so what i am going to do can you see this src test java let me right click on it let me go to new and let me create a package first in package i am going to write down the name suppose this is our first class so i am going to write down this java package name is day one and i am simply going to click on finish so a package has been created with the name day one and inside this package i am going to create a new class and let's say my class name is going to be demo as this is our first class and let me click on finish on it so a class has been created and I am going to create the main method as well. So inside this class I am going to fulfill three steps. The first step is going to be we are going to launch a browser. In the second step what we are going to do we are going to open a URL. And in the third step what we are going to do we are going to close the browser. So let's see how we can perform this. So let us let us perform the first step that is launch the browser. So for launching the browser we are going to use the web driver interface. We are going to use what we are going to use web driver interface for launching a browser and because inside the web driver interface as we have discussed there are different different kinds of method which we can use methods like let me show you driver.get this is the method that is inside web driver interface with using which we can easily open a url so let me do one thing let me open the source demo one and suppose I need to open this URL. So I'm going to copy it and I'm going to paste it right here. So let's run it first. Right click, run as Java application. So the URL is being opened. Can you see this? Now the second point is the screen is not getting maximized. So if you wish to maximize the screen what you need to do you need to write it down driver dot driver dot manage dot window dot maximize what does this command will do this command will maximize the screen can you see this let's do that right click run as java application so just see the page is going to get open and it is going to be maximized as well now in the third step what i want i simply want that the particular page that has been opened it should basically get closed as well so browser is opened we have already opened the url as well now in the third step what i am going to do i am going to basically close the browser as well so here i am going to simply write it down driver dot close so what it is going to do it at the first step this is going to launch our browser in the second step we are basically uh, opening a url and then we are closing the browser as well 
सो लेट्स डू दैट राइट क्लिक रन एज जावा एप्लीकेशन सो पेज इज गोइंग टू बी ओपन एंड कैन यू सी इमीडिएटली आफ्टर ओपनिंग द पेज द ड्राइवर हैज क्लोज राइट so i just want to direct my driver that before closing just wait for few seconds right so for doing that what i am going to do for doing that i am simply here i am going to write it down thread dot sleep and here i am going to pass what 2000 here 2000 means we are saying that driver that please wait for 2 second it is 2000 milliseconds right so let's do that right click run as java application so what is going to be happen the page is going to be open it is going to wait for 2 second and then the page is going to get closed right so these were the three steps which we need to perform correct so now these things has been done now let's do some actions actions like i simply want to fill some data in username i simply want to fill some data in password and i simply want to click on this particular button so in order to do that we need to find some locator see in this particular web page there are three elements username password and login buttons and they are going to uniquely identified by the locators correct so let me identify few demos one so what i need to do let me do a right click let me go to inspect as soon as this inspect column is opened can you see <laughs> this is our root node that means html has been opened and this is my uh, closing node html is closed so i need to take this pointer and i am going here to the username field so in the username field can you see it is like a input tag with some id and name right so for now as it is our first class what we are going to see we will talk about the locators but for today let me take id correct so let me copy the id i will come back to my browse uh, i will come back to my editor and here i will say driver please find an element by by what i have just copied the id so i will say the driver please find an element by what by id right so find element by is find element is a method for which you are directing or you are commanding the driver that whatever thing we have passed inside suppose here we have passed id so driver please find an element in the particular web page whose id is what user name and after that i am going to direct the driver that inside the username field please fire please send some values so in a input field in selenium if you wish to some send some data you need to use what you need to use the send keys method so right here inside can you see it is here the accepted username so i'm so just going to copy it and inside send keys i'm going to paste it right after filling the username what i want that uh, the particular driver should wait for 2 second and after maximizing the screen as well what i want i simply want that driver should wait for 2 second as well correct see sec the wait which i am going to giving right here is basically explicit wait will cover the wait as well right but here i am just simply using a thread dot sleep method to direct the driver the driver please wait for 2 second after maximizing the screen and after sending the data in username field right on the second step again i am going to take the pointer and i am going to go to the password inside the password let me copy this particular id again i am going to direct my driver the driver please find an element by id let me send it down and let me send some uh, let me use the send keys method as i need to send few data so let me copy it and let me paste it over here so username field has been identified and i have sent some data similarly password field has been identified and i have sent some data at the next step what i want i simply want that this login button should get pre placed so what i need to do 
again i am going to take a pointer and i am going to go to this particular login button and inside this login button let me copy this id after that i need to click on driver dot find element by what by id so in selenium if you want to click on any button which method you can use you can simply use what you can simply use dot click method right now after sending some data and before clicking on the button again i want two second break so what i am giving i am giving this thread dot sleep so at the first step what we are saying we are launching the browser in the second step we are opening a url in the third step i am closing the browser right let us do right here so right click run as java application page has been opened username data has been sent password data has been sent button has been clicked now driver will get closed so can you see we have performed this action uh, sorry this login page perfectly now what i want i need to verify that whether the user has been logged in successfully or not so just see before login the url is this let me write it down before login the url is this and after login the url changes to this right after login the url changes to inventory.html so on the basis of url i am going to verify that after clicking on the button whether user has been successfully logged in or not how we can achieve this let's see so after clicking on the button i am just creating a variable string expected url because i am just going to save the previous url in a variable that is basically what expected url right and i am going to create one more variable that is basically what actual url and i am going to say that driver please find me an actual url so i am going to say that whatever url the driver is having before closing the page is this going to be what get current url and if user has been logged in successfully so the current page url is always going to be this correct now i am using a if else statement that if expected url is equals to what actual url in that particular case user has been logged in logged in success fully else else i am going to print invalid credentials and after performing the dot click operation again i am going to say that driver please wait for 2 second so let's see how does it goes okay guys so after clicking on login how we are going to verify that a user has been logged in successfully or not so see if user has been logged in successfully the url should change to this one correct the url of the page after login should be this correct so let me copy this url and as this is the expected url what i am going to do i am going to store it in a variable that is expected url correct so let me go to the page and let me copy the url let me come right here and i am pasting it that string expected url is this and i am going to again create a new variable that is basically what actual url and i am suggesting the driver that driver on whatever page you are having please return the url so after the login driver should be have to be in this particular page and the url should be this so driver is going to return this url to the actual url if the login has been successful if the login has not been successful so what is going to be url this url so i am going to match it the expected url which i want and the actual url which driver is sending to us so 
so I'm going to compare that that if expected URL is equals to actual URL it simply means that you have logged in successfully correct else it should print that invalid credentials so let's just run let's see that whether we have logged in successfully or not so how we can do that right click run as java application so the page is going to get open the credentials are going to get entered the the button should get hit the page is going to get closed and in the console can you say this we have achieved that logged in was successful so this is how you can set up a maven project with selenium dependency and this is how you can write you can automate a login page using the selenium library so in this particular video what you have learned in this particular video you have learned that how to create a maven project how to put the dependency of the selenium and after that you have learned that how to launch the browser how to open the browser and how to handle the input fields guys how to handle the input fields first we are going to find this input field with the help of a locator and then with the send keys method we are going to sign some data in it second you have understood that how to handle this login button how we are going to find this login button with a locator and then we simply need to use we simply need to use the dot click functionality to handle this login button automatically so this is what about this is all about the selenium setup the maven project setup with the selenium and the first code with it so for such more automation testing video please subscribe to setpa infotech youtube channel thank you